Welcome back. Today in this episode of Butler's Inventor Coaster Set, we're going to take a look at creating the cork and the coaster. In the previous video, you already created the base and the peg. Just as a reminder, you should have your iPad with this video playing, setting next to your computer. On your computer, you should have Inventor opened up. And next to your computer as well, you should have this sheet that we're going to use as reference. Okay, so with our cork, we're going to have a circle that is 2.75 in diameter and a thickness of 0.25. So let's get started on our cork. Let's go up in Inventor to the top left hand corner, find the orange file, and we're going to go down to New. When our menu opens up, we're going to select Standard IPT and click Create. We're going to start with a 2D sketch. We're going to place that on our XZ plane. And our world view cube top is the wrong direction, so we're going to use our rotate arrow up here in order to rotate that around so that our top is correct reading. Once again, we're going to get our circle from the top ribbon bar. We're going to lock onto our origin. We know we're there when you get a green dot. Click, let go of the mouse button, stretch out a circle. And we're going to enter in a distance of 2.75 for the diameter. And then press enter on the keyboard. Green check mark, finish sketch. Now we're going to take and extrude this. So we're going to go up to create menu, go down to extrude. We want to extrude in a flip direction so that our sketch plane is on the top. And we're going to extrude a distance here of 0.25. And then click OK. Let's take a look at our drawing. So we have the basic shape of our cork drawn, but we also are finished with it. But we want to change cork to the material type of cork. So we're going to go up to that default section above in our ribbon bar right here. And we're going to scroll up in this menu this time. And we're going to find cork course. That changes our material type. That looks awesome. First part's done for today. Let's go over to our orange file. Go down to Save As. Once again, we're going to save to our H drive. First initial, last name, 000. And part 9 is not going to do for our file name. We're going to highlight that and call this Cork. And click Save. Okay, once that saves, we're going to bottom X in Inventor to close this sheet out. And we're going to move on to take a look at our coaster. The coaster is square in shape and it's going to be four inches horizontal dimension four inches for vertical dimension and it's going to be a half inch thick so let's start with that let's go up to the orange file in the top left hand corner go down to new and when our menu opens up we're going to take and select standard ipt and click create starting with the 2d sketch the drawing in the green plus mark we're going to place that on our xz plane and we're going to rotate our world view cube by clicking on the rotate arrow up here until top is correct reading. Then using our rectangle tool from the create menu in our ribbon bar, we're going to begin at our origin. When you get a green dot, click, let go of the mouse button, and stretch out a rectangle. The horizontal dimension was 4. Press the tab key on the keyboard. My vertical dimension was also 4. Type those in and press enter on the keyboard. Green check mark to finish sketch. Click home in our world view cube right here. And we're going to extrude this. We're going to flip our direction so that that arrow pointing down in our sketch is around the top. And we're going to change our distance here to 0.5, which is a half inch. And click OK. So we have the basic shape of our coaster drawn. Let's take a look at our reference sheet now. We have two holes that are in the corner, one in the lower left, one in the upper right, and they are 0.625 in from each side of the base. I'm sorry, of the coaster, just like we did with the base. So let's move on to that next. So we're going to take a 2D sketch, place it on our top view, click top in our world view cube to zoom all and we can see what we're working on. And then from the create section in our ribbon bar, we're going to select point tool. We're going to place a point in the top right corner and one in the lower left corner. Press the escape key on your keyboard to let go of the point tool and let's go get our dimension tool up here from the ribbon bar. We're going to go around this from each side 
when it turns red i'm going to click go to the point when it turns red click and then move this dimension out to the side and off your part once we place the dimension we're going to change the dimension to 0 0.625 green check mark once again the right side of my coaster part and the point bring this dimension up this dimension is 0.625 kind of just like we did with the base bottom and the point change the dimension to 0.625 left and the point change this dimension to 0.625 green check mark let's go to a green check mark in a ribbon bar finish sketch and let's take another look at our reference sheet for the reference sheet this hole is 0.375 which is 3 eighths of an inch and it goes all the way through so back to our drawing we're going to select our hole tool from the modify section in our ribbon bar we want to have a simple hole with no seat now we want it to go all the way through not a distance so we're going to change to this icon here which is through all it looks like a stack of pancakes with a fork in the middle of it and we're going to change the diameter of our hole to 0.375 and click OK. Those look great. Next, back on our reference sheet, we have another hole that's in the middle here that accepts the cork and this is 2.75 in diameter and goes 0.25 deep. So back to our part, we're going to take a 2D sketch the drawing with the green plus mark, place this on the top view once again. Click top of my world view cube to bring it back onto our screen. And we're going to use our point tool from the create section in our ribbon bar. We're going to place this point here. Press the escape key to let go of your point tool. And now we have to find what the dimensions are for the point. So for the point, the center of the hole, you can see we're two inches in from the side and two inches down from the top. So right in the middle. We're going to take our dimension tool. We're going to click the top of our part. Click the point, bring this dimension off to the side, and we're going to change that dimension to 2. Green check mark. Then we're going to click the right hand side of our part and the point. Bring this dimension up. And we're going to change this dimension to 2 as well. Green check mark. Then we're going to green check mark finish sketch from the ribbon bar. And we're going to use our hole tool once again. Now before we change anything on here, you should see that it already selected that hole. Let's go back to our drawing. So this is a 2.75 diameter hole and it goes a quarter inch deep. So let's make those adjustments on this menu. So I want a simple hole with no seat. I want to have a distance, so I'm going to switch back from through all to distance. And I'm going to change my depth here to 0.25. I'm going to change the diameter to 2.75. And now you can see that this hole sort of looks kind of funky. That's because it has a pointed on the drill bit. So we're going to change the point on the drill bit from having an angle on it to a flat bottom hole. Like we're going to drill with a Forstner bit when we actually make our parts. So we want flat bottom hole, 0.25 for a depth, 2.75 for a diameter. And click OK. That looks awesome so far. Let's go back to our drawing. Next, if we take a look, we want to have fillets. I'm sorry, we have chamfers, 0.125 on all eight sides of our coaster. So let's take care of that next. We're going to get our modify section in our ribbon bar. We're going to select chamfer and we're going to select the top four long edges of our coaster. Then go to our world view cube. Click the bottom front corner in our world view cube. That'll rotate this up. And we're going to click the bottom four sides, long sides of our coaster as well. Click OK. Click Apply, and then click Cancel. Let's go home. Next, go back to our sheet. If we take a look at the holes that are in the corners, they also have a chamfer on them. The two holes are 0.125 and they're filleted on both sides or chamfered on both sides go back to our part drawing let's get our chamfer tool once again 0.125 is our distance that carried over from our last time we used it 
If it doesn't, just highlight it and enter in a value of 0.125. And we're going to click the top of our hole in the corner, top of the other hole in the corner. Let's rotate to the bottom by clicking the bottom in our world view cube. And we want the bottom edge of our coasters as well in the holes. Click apply, press cancel, and go home. Okay, coaster looks amazing. What is the next thing we need to do here? We need to change it to yellow pine for a material type. So back on our part, we're going to go up to default, click on the little arrow here above default, and we're going to scroll down in this menu all the way to the bottom and select the yellow pine. That looks awesome. Next, we're going to go up to the top orange file and we're going to go down to save as. Make sure you're going into your H drive, first initial, last name, 000, and we're going to change our file name right here to coaster. Once you have H drive and coaster, click save. That is awesome. You've created all the parts. The next step is you're going to move on to the assembly and the assembly video. See you over there.